Hey, you guys. All right, so this cologne review is about Maher Legacy by Latafa Perfumes. So I'm going to break this down real quick. I actually bought this while on vacation in Morocco for 250 dirhams. I had to make a review about it. I thought it was the, honestly, you could smell it through the box. I thought it was by far one of the best smelling colognes I had ever smelled. I was intrigued by the uh, horse head. All right, so I'm going to go over the notes real quick here. So Fragrantica says that the uh, top notes are going to be lime, pineapple, okay, and grapefruit. All right, mid notes, juniper berry, black pepper. Finally, bottom notes, ambroxan. You already know the tonka bean, which is that powdery smell, is going to be in it. And as well as vetiver. Let's open this up because it's still plastic and it has it has some type of a code here. Let's see here. There's some numbers here at the bottom. It says made in UAE, which is United Arab Emirates. Alright, go ahead and open this up. This is my first time opening this. I'm glad that I'm back doing these reviews. I want to just thank my subscribers real fast. Everyone that views me and subscribes to me, thank you very much. I did not give up on my dream of being a YouTuber. I did not give up my dream about making fragrance reviews. And I did not give up my dream about handling multiple channels. Uh, definitely... Thank you very much. This this was cool. This was really, really cool. I mean, look at how this, this opens. All right. I had legacy. Goes out like this. Foam cover. This has got to be the coolest presentation of a cologne ever. You can smell it. You can really smell it. Let's open this up. See? Just like that, it clicks back on. All right. Well, let's spray it on anyway. This way I can show you. This is the silver colored one. When I was at the store, I noticed there was a black one and it was also an oud colored one. But this one is a silver colored one. I did in fact actually test them, uh, but I picked this one out because I thought this was the best for me. Oh yeah, so this is the rundown on this cologne. Top notes right now that I'm getting, it's definitely minty. But it's got this, it's got this lavender in it. And almost like a pine saw. Or one of those bathroom cakes. If you know what I'm talking about, like a lemon bathroom cake. But the thing is, it's it's more complicated than that. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's it's uh, it's out of the shower. It's um. It's clean. It's musky. It's it's uh, it's masculine. I'll rub that in real quick here. I'm gonna show you. I know we're not really supposed to be doing this either, but. When you heat this up a little bit, it starts to change. All right, so you get that ambroxan, you get that that snap of lemon powder, but it's just so fresh. It's just so fresh, and it's zingy. It's zingy, like. It's very zingy. That makes sense. Like this thing, 
when you put this on, it's it's like whoa, you know what I mean? It's it's almost like that, like a scent of a cleaner. Lemon pine sole cleaning scent, and it's zingy, and it's it's fresh, but it's fresh and minty, like a lemon mint, frozen smoothie type of chilled drink that that just oh like when you put this on it just kind of imagine a waterfall full of lemons and water it smells just like that thank you very much